Hello and welcome to the uh, Salt Shaker podcast, the only podcast where we start with a Christmas special because fuck you, that's why. There goes our demonetization. I mean, de- oh wow. Yep, English. I know how to speak English. There goes our monetization. Motherfucker, we weren't monetized to begin with. Okay, well, what if we do get monetized in the future? Well, then this one isn't it. <laughs> This one isn't well, it. then our freaking pilot ain't getting goddamn monetized. Who cares? <laughs> what do you mean pilot? This is America, bitch. What do you mean pilot? We don't. We don't... Oh wait. Oh, you. I thought you were talking. Yeah, about the first like... episode is the pilot. I thought you were talking about like an actual pilot, like a like an actual airplane pilot, and I was really confused. Context, okay. folks. Context is important. Anyway, this is. Anyway, what are you drinking? Well, I'm almost done drinking a glass of nice refreshing cold tap water yeah well i got um some barks root beer hashtag not sponsored (sighs) stay hydrated kids drink your water fuck your water everything in moderation okay all right something that plush doesn't understand you mean that that's not my youtube name you idiot (laughs) I, I, I'm used to calling you by your Discord name. I'm sorry. My correction, Poliskin. You think we should have brought Jake onto this for the first episode, or were we just going to do him second? We had this discussion already. We, were, we weren't going to do it unless he agrees to do it with us. Uh, so yeah, true. Unless he wants to join us for this Watch episode, he like, puts in the gonna... comments or something that he wants to be in on it. If he does, then we'll let him in the next episode. All right, cool. By the way, Jake, if you're watching this, I'm sorry to interrupt. If you're watching this, Jake, we're sorry. We just we did this on super short notice. Anyway, back to your regular scheduled salt cast. That we didn't even stop the salt cast for, but okay. So what what, what are we talking about? I don't know. There's some couple things. There's there's the fact I can't speak English that we could talk about that one. Oh, yeah, did you hear that a dream got banned off Twitter? Oh, yeah, yeah, about that. I don't really have any strong feelings either way. The only thing I can say is I'm surprised. With how Twitter's been at this current moment in time, you would think that they wouldn't have done a damn thing. There's going to be an image up on the screen to show you that this is true, and it says, according to our Discord chat, you sent a thing that said that shows Dream's account, and it says, Caution, this account is temporarily restricted. Yeah, I'm you trying to make sure that there's it... there has been some unusual activity from this count. So technically, he wasn't really banned. He was just restricted. So you can't see his tweets unless you specifically want to see him. Oh, okay. <coughs> All right. So I figured it out. So his main account wasn't banned. His main account is still up. It's his um, alt account. His secondary account that he uses to, like, vent, that one was removed. That's funny. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. Well, either way... Also, apparently, he actually, good. um... Oh, this is more news, uh, well, like, a week old news. Um, Dream officially ended the, uh, SMP Minecraft server. As of, uh, Sunday, apparently. He put in a post, or a poll that says, Should I delete the Dream SMP Minecraft server? And he says he will abide by the results of this poll, and, like, 52.4% of people voted yes. And nothing of value was lost. Everybody in the comments is writing yes. <laughs> I guarantee the only people who are saying no are like the 13-year-olds that barely legal on Twitter. I mean, hold on. Bad choice of words. But I mean, by that, I meant they were barely within the legal bounds of Twitter's terms of service. Good. We can all... We can all rest easy now, knowing that the... Uh... I like how one person wrote, well, fuck you too" in the comments uh, of somebody who said they <laughs> voted yes. <laughs> cool. Let's go do a minor change. I like how everybody who's writing, please don't uh, delete the SMP or all like the people who paid $7 for Twitter. <laughs> all of them. It's these, all of them. These everybody who voted yes. Or, I mean, who voted no, they all have literally, like, the Twitter blue verification symbol. Amazing. And everybody who voted yes to delete it don't have verification. So you can tell, like, who is and is not, like, for Dream here, like, easily. Yeah. 
I can view Twitter on my phone at least. That hasn't changed, but I can't view it on my computer for some reason. Twitter, please fucking fix your shit. Stop. There was also something else. I think there was something else that you mentioned. Oh, yeah, that uh, Mr. Beast might become the uh, new CEO of Twitter. The only thing I have to say about that is I don't like that idea. And the reason why is Mr. Beast is a giant is a giant a uh, corporate shell. I'm sorry. Every single one of his videos is the same fucking thing over and over and over. Like there's zero creativity. Same clickbaity thumbnail. Same stupid arrow. Same dumbass face. Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Beast. We're gonna be surviving in a prison for 50 hours, and the winner that manages to get through it all 50 hours gets ten thousand dollars. There's no entertainment value in a video like that. Personally, nothing... hold on. Personally, in terms of running Twitter. Honestly, there's no way he can do a worse job than Elon Musk. Let's be completely fucking honest for like two minutes. The, Actually, the, hold on. He wait, would no, need no, to no, be no, no, like no. a special level of stupid in order to somehow do worse than Elon has done so far. Pliskin, Pliskin, my, 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 my friend. Do you realize what I just said moments before? He's a corporate clickbait YouTube shill. That right there is already lower than Elon Musk. All right, I know Elon Musk might be kind of a bit of a scumbag. Listen, I don't. I'm not saying Elon is a scumbag. I, did, when did I say that, dude? No, that's just a fact. I mean, look at what Elon Musk. No, did. I know, but I'm just saying, with all the shit he's done, he's somehow managed to make the company worse than it was financially than he was before he bought the company. I don't even know how you managed to fuck that up when the platform was already at rock bottom. Well, I mean, look, if stocks can keep going down and down and down and stuff like that, then obviously anyone can lose money. So, yes, it is possible to just fuck things up further in that aspect. The fuck? I did not want to play that video. I am what sorry. What in the was... fuck was that? I heard that through my, <laughs> through my headphones. What the fuck was that? <laughs> nah, nah, hold on, hold on. We were stopping. What the fuck did I just hear? What I what I actually did was I pressed a, a play play on a uh, Ace Attorney Daily Moments video. What? And I guessing it was the sound of glass cracking. What I didn't the mean to fuck? press play. Hold on, you want to hear it? You want to? Yeah, hear let's it? hear it. Let's hear it. Okay. If it'll load, come on. What the <laughs> fuck? Why is that just something you have on speed dial? All right, all right, stop, 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 stop. We're gonna get goddamn claimed. No, there was no music. There, we can't get claims for you can't you can't get claims for actual like in-game video game sound We're effects. Not talking, like, you can for sound music. effects. Wait, when was when has that happened? It's copyrightable. Alright, anyone who does that, fuck you. Really, fuck you. I hope Nintendo, you have a very merry. Nintendo has copyrighted the Mario Jump sound. Uh, anything can be copyrighted, dude. Wait, did they do that just so that people would? Yeah, they play copyrighted Mario Bros. the uh, Mario Jump, the uh, the coin sound. You know the. I'm not gonna try and repeat it because it's gonna sound like shit. But you know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, that the, da that sound. Yeah, that's no, been, get that's copyrighted. Um, the Mario Wahoo. That's um copyrighted. All right, well there goes our channel. Yeah, well, we got three strikes in one uh, episode, so well, <laughs> that's it for the podcast, boys. That's it. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please leave a dislike, unsubscribe, give us a nasty college essay, comment about how we should be canceled on Twitter, cancel us on Twitter. I'm kidding. Don't actually. No, uh, if you're going to cancel us, do it on something like Mastodon, not even Twitter. Do it on some like... Wait, what is Mastodon? It's the new... It's apparently like the Twitter that everybody's flocking to right now. It's, it's like new Twitter, basically. You know Literally how like never when, heard of it. Remember how like when porn was banned off of Tumblr and everybody went to Twitter? Like there was a, just a mass mm. exodus of people. I just remember that being banned off of Tumblr. Yeah, so else. it's basically that but from Twitter now to uh, Mastodon, apparently. That's literally what it is. Except it's actually let's talk about let, well, let me go off topic and just talk about that for a minute. We've already gone far off topic. We went from Elon Musk fucking up Twitter, Mr. Beast being the CEO of Twitter, to now this. Yeah, so basically, um, Twitter or Elon said he was banning anybody who even mentioned uh, Mastodon on tw on Twitter or uh, Instagram, Facebook, uh, 
basically any competitor's platforms, if you even like so much as mention it in passing, you will be permanently banned. Well, better take the fanfiction account out of my uh, bio. Well, no, no, I that's not a can. competitor website. Well, what if they, like, bend the rules? I mean, when is any CEO played by the rules fairly? Well, he's None. not the CEO anymore. He said he was stepping down. All right, well, then who the hell's running? Wait, what? Who the hell's running the website then? I honestly do not know. For all I know, what it could the be... What fuck? It could be, like, a robot that he built. I don't fucking know. It's Pablo Escobar. Fucking Pablo Escobar. Hello, my name is Pablo. I am the CEO of Twitter.net.com. I mean, I watch the children. I watch them post porn. I ban them when they post the porn. <laughs> All right, I gotta stop this because that got really weird. Yeah, what the fuck? I, I thought we were gonna stop with the whole freaking Pablo thing after the uh, ML incident. N M L. What? Mini lad. Oh yeah, the whole no, mini lad no. um, debacle. That's really, really old news, by the way. But um, the joke's funny though. When I used to take it, I turned it, it was like, "Oh, they destroy the culture, destroy cultures." Of I will destroy your culture. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. I'm pretty sure we're gonna get canceled for like some weird shit. I will destroy your culture. That was horrible. I used to be able to do it better in high school. Oh well. Anyway. Back to the uh, whole Elon Musk freaking Mr. Sh Mr. Stagnation thing. Yes, I called Mr. Beast Mr. Stagnation. You say that. Meanwhile, because... he just surpassed PewDiePie in subscribers. Yeah, because the fucking children love clickbait videos. That's why. Okay. You're saying he's stagnant, but, but he's not. He's literally surpassed... I call him stagnant because the content is stagnant. It's just that people are still dumb enough to keep watching it. All right, well, uh, now you know that what? we're on the that, topic of YouTube, this Hold is on, no, wait, no, no, this before... is a perfect segue. This no, no, is no, a no, perfect. No, 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 yes, no, no. yes. Wait, no, this is not. I'm not done. I am not done. Fine. Okay, but this, I, I asked one of my coworkers at work today in about Mr. that the Mr. Beast thing, and all he said was, "Okay, well, I'm surprised people watch him." But then again, people also watch Jersey Shore. So, there is that. And he does make a good point by bringing that up. Now, on to the YouTube thing that you have to t have to say. So, go ahead. Well, now I fucking lost it. So, thank you for that one. <laughs> you are very much welcome. God damn it. What the fuck was I thinking? Thinking about God. Why the hell did you have to cut me off? Because you cut me off first. No, be Motherfucker... I was about to say something, you're like, no, I want to say something else. No, you were the one who fucking started it. But I was in the middle of talking, though. I could go back on my audio right before you, before this whole went down, and you could clearly see, and hear, well, not see, but you could clearly hear that I was talking first, and then I was interrupted. Does, this, does it even matter? Could whatever. you have just so, let me finish my train of thought before you stop me? Jesus. All right, fine. I won't do that again. Hold on, hold on. Again. I'm sorry. Now. God damn it. All right, maybe I can jog your memory. It had something to do along the lines of Mr. Stagnation. No. Oh, 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 now I remember, now I remember. All right. Uh, yes. The YouTuber, <laughs> the game theorists, sold his channels to a uh, new startup company. What, what the fuck? What? Yeah, Game Theory. You, you know who I'm talking about, right? Game Theory? MatPat? Yeah, MatPat. He sold um, the Game Theorists, or well, the, the Theorists, all four channels. Or three channels, whatever it is. Well, four, yeah. Uh, let me see. I need to look up what company he sold it to, but I know he sold why? it. Why? I don't know why. Why did he sell it? And I didn't even know you could sell a channel. That, that, that's like No, it's because he, he basically, I guess, like, sold... Yeah, he sold, not the channel, but it's like the network. It's like... He sold it to a new startup called Lunar X. Sounds like an Elon Musk freaking moon project. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why they sold it. They were doing completely fine on their own. Uh -huh. It all comes down to one thing. You know what it is? What? 
money, bro. But they'd be making less money by selling the company off to somebody else. Now they're getting less profit share, though. Uh, then I don't know. I, 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 I don't know, then. I really don't. And then, so basically the way Matt had, like, rationalized it, he's just like, he's like, it's like the when YouTube's, I mean, sold themselves to Google. I'm like, I'm like, bro, first off, that was the worst thing that could have happened to YouTube. So that's kind of like a terrible example. I mean, the, the funny that's thing the about that is. the worst example he could have used for that. The funny thing about that, that YouTube selling itself to Google was, weren't the people that made YouTube originally from Google? I'm pretty sure they worked for Google at some point. It was either they worked for Google or they worked for PayPal. I don't know. No, it was no, no, one no. Of those. It was, I think it was Google. I think there were ex-Google employees. Either that or... No, 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 no. I remember what it was. It was Susan, uh, freaking the current CEO of YouTube, was um, like the CFO or something of, uh, of Google at the time when they made YouTube in her garage. It, it was something like that. That's why she's the head of um, YouTube now. No, no, wait. What? Hold on. Now that's a conflicting stories. Didn't you say that the only reason Susan is the CEO of YouTube right now because someone didn't she do something for someone in the parking lot and they were like, oh yeah, now you're gonna be CEO? No, 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 no. Because they ran YouTube or they created YouTube in her garage. That's what I just said. I'm really confused. And but she was also I'm... at the time working for Google, so she was the one who facilitated the deal, as well. To acquire um, YouTube, which is, which obviously we know that ended up in a freaking nightmare of epic proportions. Remember that whole meme of uh, this is Bob, and he's raising an army against Google Plus. I wasn't really aware of memes at that time. It was this one. Hold on, it. I can literally pull it up right now. Yeah, here it is. I found it. <laughs> I'm going to do a, oh, I can't yeah. like do the copy paste of it, but here I found like the, uh, the actual comments of people that used to do it. I almost sent that to Jake by mistake. That rhymes. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. This, this thing. Oh yes, I rem I actually I actually remember seeing those a few of those comments. I like how one of the uh, profile Only pictures says YouTube sucks. How true that is today. Like you can tell these are this is like a really old picture because this says like the old YouTube layout. They were old. Oh, I'm talking. This is like close. This to is legitimately ancient. This has to be like 2013, 2012. No, no, it's earlier than that. This looks like 2009. Maybe. No, it is. It definitely is. Because didn't YouTube replace this with um in 2010 the uh like dislike to be next to I, kinda, I, don't, I don't know. They did something weird. They they made it a little bit different. I don't pay attention to YouTube's history at this point. It's all become a blur of corporate sanitization. Anyway, um. Is there anything else we could talk about? I mean, we're only 20 minutes in. Seriously? I thought we were going to be much further into this. This is... Damn. This is... I don't know. You know... I mean, how about that uh, that crazy-ass weather that's going on right now? It's not really crazy-ass weather. It's... It's just typical winter right now. Typical winter? Dude, we just had a random-ass freaking storm... That happens in the winter, or pretty much any time of the year, actually. I mean, you don't get this this early on in the season. You can still get a storm like this at any point in the yeah, year. Yeah, but again, not this it, early. <clears throat> well, as it currently stands, it is now 20 degrees Fahrenheit where we live. Actually, it's 21. Ten it says 20 for me, so... What are you using? Are you using the um, Windows 11 sidebar? Man, yeah. Mine says 21. We live in the same town. What? How the fuck are ours I different? I don't know. How is it... Di Hold on. Send a screenshot. Send a screenshot in the chat. I'm actually curious how the f that's happening. What? I don't know. What? <laughs> I don't we know. We live in the same town. How the fuck is it different? I don't know. I don't know. 
How did it get so cold so fast? It was like 50 degrees this morning. What happened was it's called a cold front was moving in. And then in a matter of a few hours, it went from 57 to 20. It was still dropping, by the way. What, what's this supposed to go down to? Uh, let's actually check. Let's let's stop and, and, and check. What is the thing that Dora says? Let's stop and see. I don't know, but I'm going to use know. the other one. Let's find out. Well, let me say that the feels like temperature is exactly zero degrees right now. Is that, is that, <laughs> is that apparently... legit? Hold on. Where, where do you see that? Wait, which one are you using? Which uh, site are you using? Weather.com. Oh, I'm using uh, the, the way I said that, that, that sounded. The way I said it, that sounded absolutely Don't forget it's the weather. Curve. It's supposed to be 12 degrees. Actually, no, it says it feels like a negative one right now. What the? F no, I got oh, um, I got zero. And then in an hour, oh, at I'm nine, it's supposed to go to negative. Then negative three, then negative oh, two. How the fuck? Negative four. How is it? How, Welcome to that nice Arctic How bad day. is it going to get tomorrow? Hold on. How, negative five. The daily, the, 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 the high for tomorrow is only supposed to be 20 degrees. So right now, the hold on, hold on. It Wasn't is, it literally it's just like two days ago? It was like 50 degrees. No, it's been cold the last few days. Hold up. Can I? Can uh, we go back? Right now. Can you go back with the weather stuff? No, but I have another. I have a means. Of no, looking yeah, it's right here. Yesterday's out. weather. You actually can't. Why does it redirect me to Weather Underground? What the fuck? Uh, Wait, are they owned by the same company? I think they are. Actually. Hold on. So. No, I was right. It was fifty-six degrees yesterday. I was right. Well, just to let you know, this is what it's like in the winter. Just the first day of winter instantly go well, first full day of winter instantly goes down to zero degrees. Winter is like, I'm here, bitch. Deal with it. Speaking of, I told you, I finally the, got the Wii, um, the Wii Weather Channel working again. Mm-hmm. The funny thing about the weather tomorrow is the daytime high is still fairly below the day, the normal nighttime low temperature. And the nighttime low temperature is almost the daytime high temperature today. Jeez. Anyway, um, I just want to take a quick moment to shout out Reconnect24 for bringing back the weather um, channel on the Wii, as well as the uh, news channel. Just, uh, you guys are the real OGs here. I, 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 I expect them to not... Uh, yeah, know, no, they, they they will never hear about this fucking podcast, but I'm, I'm going to shout them out anyway for, like, the, the friggin' two people that'll watch this, one of which will be Jake. Yeah. And the yes. other one is probably going to be Joe. <laughs> or some of our other friends. If, you wanna, if any of our other friends is watching this... Thank, Thank you, you, and make sure you share it with your other friends who will share it with their 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 friends. And then don't forget to like yeah, and subscribe. Yeah, there's also that. Well, you know, we're only... We're not even 30 just, minutes just, in just yet, subscribe. by the way. This is what... Uh, oh, no. No! My asthma can go piss itself. Peace. P did you say penis? I said piss, well, not penis. Same thing. Same thing. In well, this now scenario. I did. That's it, uh, asthma is wait, not the, the same. Who the fuck unplugged my DS penis. charger? I, I just look down and I see my I DS know. charger on the floor, unplugged from the wall. Who the fuck unplugged it? It's the ghosts. Oh, you mean Casper, the racist, sexist ghost? Oh hell yeah! The the true OG. Yeah. Shut the fuck up, Amazon. Did that pick up on the microphone? I would I would ask it what it is, but I have a feeling it's gonna do like a weather notification and it's gonna like dox me right now. Oh. Uh, I mean, there's always the option of of cutting that Fair out. Fair point. All right, Alexa, what's my notification? Alexa, stop. 
so uh, Amazon shopping. Uh, what about Amazon Alexa, shopping? what's my other notification? Alexa, what's my notification? Alexa, stop. Yeah, I was right. It was about the uh, weather warning. Oh, yeah. Uh, this podcast so, uh, was definitely oh, not brought some... to you by uh, Amazon. It was, I said no, not. We'll I said not. With Amazon. I know, but still, even if it was, I'd still be like, yeah, actually, we're yeah, still we'll not never sponsored. be sponsored by Amazon. Anyway, and anyway, I just remembered something. The fact that in Splatoon 3, currently, there is a really bad griefing glitch or tactic you can do with a, the, one of the new rollers. So a couple of weeks ago, a roller called the Big Swig Roller was released. And in the map, Eeltail Alley, which is a new map specifically for Splatoon 3 that launched with the game, there is a wall that if you st- if you do a, a horizontal fling at, it lags the entire game for everyone did in they the match. not hold on did not they not learn anything from the luigi's mansion glitch in uh, mario kart ds that was how many years ago and that was a um a really specific glitch that that most people how didn't do you even, even know set about. that up you still never told me how to set that glitch up I'll tell you right now so if you don't know how to set this glitch up you're gonna know after this even though it's like how many years later so, what you do is, you literally select just uh, the DS Luigi's Mansion. Well, obviously it would be DS. It's on the you DS. can do... Okay, carry on. <laughs> I know, but... Okay. <laughs> yes, the DS Luigi's Mansion is the DS Luigi's Mansion. Anyway, this could be done on download play or local play. Hell, I think it would even I'm, work I'm online. You could have... probably try it with the... Um, you could probably try it on the, uh, the revived Nintendo Network. Nintendo Wi-Fi, whatever you call it. So what you do is you literally go over to the co- to the uh, stairs and you hold A and B. What that does is let you do a little burnout on the spot and you could turn around quickly doing that. If you press left or right when you're on the stairs doing that, it freezes the game. Wait, you said left and then right immediately? No, you could press left or right. It, All you, you don't have to do hold, is you don't have left to or right both. on the stairs. Why don't you hold, you hold A and B together? And then as you're doing a little burnout, you press left or right. It, it freezes How did the they not think of that? I, I, I feel like that would be like the first thing you would think of when trying anything. I don't know, but obviously it was something that wasn't widespread enough for most people to know. The only reason I found out about it is because a long, and I'm talking a long time ago, before, before we were even in high school, um, I found a, uh, I used to go on... Cheat, game cheat forums just because wait I could hold on you never went on like youtube but you tactics. went on game cheats forums i mean not that you never did yeah you know because I, mean. I well back then i only had my dsi a uh, crappy internet connection and no computer to look at on you look you look at youtube on so that's why i couldn't go on youtube but the DS browser let me open up things like neo seeker game facts ign one up dot com, when whatever IGN it used to be called. Was actually good. No, that that was only when they were cheat cheats and stuff. But anyway, that's how I know about the glitch. I remember finding it on Neo Seeker, and I remember reading it, and it was like crash the game with this glitch, and I was like, ooh, I'm gonna go try it. And back then, I had more than one DS, so I just basically I just did the download play thing, and then I tried it out, and bingo, bango, bongo, kaboom, it worked. The game went and it was beautiful. And ever since then, I never forgot about that glitch. You know what I'm doing right now as you're explaining this? Are you trying it in the actual game? Animal Crossing Wild World on my DS, because why not? Oh, believe it or not, that game was kind of funny. If if funny with uh, Wild World, did you? With the cartridge slot. My sister has it, and the only thing I know about that game is it's it makes a hilarious crash sound if you pull the cartridge out while it's running but you have to pull it out in a very specific way <laughs> i don't recommend it if you want to keep your save file attached because i don't know if it could corrupt your save data i'm assuming possibly it's like it's like miniature cartridge tilting but it's hilarious cartridge tilting 
<laughs> yeah. I would do it right now, but I don't have... I don't have the game. And I don't know where what my sister did with it. So... Yeah. You're gonna have to uh, hope next... Uh, next podcast I can do it. So as it currently stands, it seems like that's all we have to talk about right now. Yeah, pretty now. much. I mean, what else can we talk about? Um, I mean, this is old, but Pokemon did get patched. Again? So there's that... No, not again. This is oh, old, oh, as in first, this was the last time, time they patched okay. it. Like the first patch, or the first patch, which was a which was a, li- a couple weeks ago, right? I think it was. It's only seven fifty seven, and I'm tired. I did not. I shouldn't have stayed up late last night watching Dragon Ball Z. That's what you stayed up late doing. Yeah. Well, that's if what you're I gonna did. stay up was... late doing something, you could have at least done something that wasn't anime. I like Dragon Ball, okay? Bro, if you're gonna watch any anime at, like, fucking one in the morning, you may as well make it Bakugan. First off, it wasn't one in the morning. I said... Te- I said 10 o'clock 10 is o'clock late for night. you? <laughs> Bro, 10 yes? o'clock is when I want to go to bed early for work at 9 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, but you're special. You stay up to 2 a.m. for most Yeah, nights, because so. I'm usually night shift. Exactly. That's why I say that's special for you because night shift. Well, now I got moved to afternoons <laughs> recently. So that means now I sleep like a no, normal that, that person. No, that means I still go to bed at one in the morning. <laughs> no. <laughs> at, um, Ten o'clock to be at work at eleven. Well, nine thirty to be up at you know to be at work at eleven. What the fuck is going on with my pain? I'm up at like it's the. Is the fan causing that? No, I think it's different. I wake up. Anyway, what? I wake up. I wake up at five. I woke up at five thirty this morning. I woke up at seven because what's it called? Because people can't learn to talk quieter in the morning. Ah, uh, so you would actually fucking hate living with me if that was the case. Anyway, we got um. Let's see what we got here. You know, I still have to get that capture card set up on my <laughs> on my uh, Switch for uh, that New Year's stream. Oh yeah, we never you never discussed what we were gonna uh, do. We're gonna do the New Horizons thing again. Oh. By the way, oh. Oh. I swear oh. to God, if I'm scheduled to work at nine o'clock in the morning on New Year's Day, I'm gonna scream at my boss. Not really, but you know, I I might take one for the team and go to bed at midnight anyway. Cause fuck it. Last time, last the time before last year, I uh, I just went to bed. I didn't even I'm stay up. To, I, I was just like, care. screw this, bro. If if I am like half asleep at work tomorrow, the next day, I mean, I really don't give a fuck. It will be worth it. For the funny thing about time. this. Oops. So uh, the funny thing is, as we get older and older, I swear to God, I feel like. I feel like. The holidays become less holiday and more just day. Well, yeah, because we have to work I... on the holidays. That no, it's not even that. Busy for the holidays. It's not even that. It's literally just the fact that I, I you start to realize it's just a fucking day. There's nothing special about it. Christmas is just another day. There's nothing special about it. Like, why do we even celebrate it when there's really no reason? To actually celebrate I have people it. that I work and with what about... who genuinely hate Christmas now because of it just means more work to do uh, the week before because you have to because I you hate can't cr- even take off for it like it's banned you cannot take off that's that should be fucking illegal yeah, though. no you cannot take your vacation that week because it's all hands on deck that has to be illegal though you can't force someone to work like that. Wait. Yes, yeah, you get one day off a week, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm pretty sure federally, you only have to have one day off a week. So they can work you from, like, what happened with me? I worked from last 
Thursday, uh, from last Friday to today, seven days straight. But because it's a different calendar week, in theory, they could have you work from Sunday to next Saturday, and it's still legal. Because it's based off the calendar week, not the actual week. So you could work 12 days straight, and it's legal. Because of the because the law oh. is so fucking like broken. It's bullshit. Literally, it's bullshit. Yep. America, where work where work is literal literal slavery, and it's legal. Apparently, the wind is really fast right now, though. Still. The wind is really fast. The, wind, the storm is aggressive. <laughs> the pizza is aggressive. The, the wind is really fast. That's yes, um, this floor that's is made one out of way. <laughs> that's one way to freaking describe the wind being strong. Oh, I got I got a question for any viewers who are brave enough to have watched this far or listened this far. Do you think it is bad for a 22-year-old to be making an army of various plushes that may or may not be anime-related? Wait, well, what did you say? I, was, I looked away for two seconds. <laughs> I said, do you think it's a bad thing for a 22-year-old to be amassing an army of plushes with some of them possibly being yes. related to anime? Well, this is for the, this is a question for the viewers, not for you. But okay. Well, there's my vote. <laughs> well, you can't. No, vote I can vote. What the fuck do you mean I can't? No. no, this is this is this is these are special votes. Only the viewers can vote. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm joking. You know that, right? Eventually, I will have so many plushes that. My room will just be a pl a giant plush. No, that is that is a terrible idea. Why? What, what about that's a bad idea? Why can't I surround myself in plushes? I am a lonely twenty-two year old boy who will never get a girlfriend in his lifetime. So the only way to fulfill the void of of one of having a partner is via a bunch of squishy fucking no. plushes. No, no plushes. <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, no? man, you use a pillow. Not, not, not that one. Not that one. Oh no! Oh no! Not that no. kind, John. Oh don't, no, Dad! No, <laughs> get your mind out of the fucking gutter. <laughs> I wasn't actually thinking of that. I was just, I was thinking of something completely different. I was, I was actually thinking of a body pillow. Get your mind out of the gutter. But the real question is. Wait, wait. The real question is, am I thinking about a body pillow with just a regular pillow case? Or am I thinking about a body pillow with a looty loot pillow case? That's the, no, real, that's the real question, question for now. you. And you have to answer it. No. I'm thinking about both. I'll tell you why both. Because... I have a body pillow that's got a solid pillowcase, but I'm thinking about like, what's the point of one of those looty pillowcases? I don't understand. I, I genuinely want to know, what's the point of the lewd pillowcases? Like, I don't get it. It's not like there's actually someone there that you can hug. Or whatever. Yeah. Actually, if your pillow is coming to life at night and hugging you, that you may want to fucking start running as fast as you can and never look back. Oh, that reminds me of that video I sent you, the the, the burger. Oh god! Remember? <laughs> oh my god, that video! One of my friends sent that to me, and when I saw that, I was just completely disgusted. What do you think Hold of on. it? So apparently there's an update on that whole, you know, the, uh, wait, what were you saying? What, what, what were you in the middle of saying before um, I uh, was about to go into a new topic? 
What I was saying is, remember the video with the uh, the burger that was like that is moving and stuff. As hell. Okay, so there's your response. And how anyway, you feel about back to what video. I was about to say. I was saying, um, basically, you know that thing in um, what was it, uh, Iowa? Yeah, no, Idaho. Sorry, the uh, Idaho. Um, no, 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 the Idaho Potatoes. murders. Yeah, I didn't even was, uh, know about like this. Four college so. girls in um, Idaho. Uh, sorority house, like, like all dead. It's a sorority house. No, There's nothing John, actually valuable. Okay, lost. well, this actually ties into that. No, it is I'm actually kidding. funny you bring that up. Well, not funny, but it's it's kind of fitting you bring that up. Because they're saying the... Um, no, it's actually... It's actually ironic you bring that up because they're saying um the guy who... The person of interest is actually an incel. So it's actually kind of poetic that you brought that up because... That is actually like the main, like an, the actual suspect. I promise you, I am not psychic and knew that this was. Gonna yeah, happen. they're saying uh, it was I, a I actual like incel that did it. Which I mean, it it doesn't take fucking Sherlock Holmes to figure that one out, but you know. So, uh, next topic: the undergarments of. No, we're, we're, no, I'm we kidding. Not we're not going talking there. about that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, here's one. Wii U. Underrated game console where it belongs in the trash. Underrated what? trash. What? No, 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 no. no. You can't that? pick both. You can't say both. No, <laughs> you no, didn't no. say you I couldn't. You cannot say both. No? 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 No, you cannot. <laughs> you cannot pick both. Come on now. All for right, real. for real, for real, for real. I'll give you an actual serious answer. Serious? 100% serious yes. answer, alright? I'm just gonna go into detail real quick. You can't really actually choose, because the problem is, the Wii U had some really good games, it was a somewhat decent console, the problem was it just didn't have enough third-party support. I mean, so... you can blame that on Nintendo's shitty marketing. Because it didn't guess, sell at all, because people still... thought it was just an add-on for the Wii. Because the, the way that they marketed the console Fair is they enough. never even showed the Wii U. Like, I think in none of the commercials do they show the actual Wii U in it. They're just, it's just the ones where, like, the kids are giving PowerPoint presentations to their parents about why they should get a Wii U for Christmas. I remember, I remember seeing those commercials. Didn't we do a video on that? You mean the the not video that we did? Oh, you mean the one that we canceled? The one that was never recorded yeah, at did. all. We didn't record for that. We, I 100% remember doing that. Well, if we did, then I just don't remember. Well, John, don't don't try a Mandela that. effect me here. Do not do not try that shit on me. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. I do, I generally don't I remember. I swear I remember doing that video. But I don't. So if, to me, if it didn't, if I don't remember it, then either it didn't happen or I just don't remember. Did you say coordinates? Did you <laughs> one four five nine nine two eleven. Oh, do you remember one. um in middle school when um when we were going over what we we're gonna do during the evacuation drill instead of saying you're gonna bring a jacket to the um other place, you said we're gonna bring a bomb and where are we gonna bring it in airfield? <laughs> do you you don't remember? I don't that, remember dude? saying that. This is like eighth I don't, grade. That does this not is, sound like something I would say. That day where we, got, where we had that <laughs> evacuation drill, I wasn't even in school. Or I wasn't even going to be in school. And I remember saying, like, this is completely pointless for me because I'm literally not going to be here. I straight up remember saying that. I'm like, you did not need to pull me out. I'm not even going to be here. Funny thing is, um, I don't remember yeah, saying that. Yeah, but I remember that. not being in school that day because I had to go for some testing that day at the uh, hospital. I remember absolutely nothing from that day. That was eight years ago. Has it been eight years? It's 2012. Ten years. Ten years. Uh, yeah. No, it's eight. 2014. Oh, I thought you said 2012. Grade. I was going to say that's ten years. No, I did some really stupid math. And I, I spotted right, bullshit. So, yeah, eight years. All right, here, here, here's one. Here, here's a controversial question. Pokemon oh, black no. or Pokemon white? 
Why not Pokemon Black and Blue? Because that's a, a game made by PETA. That's not even a joke. That was a real uh, ROM hack made by PETA. I know that. I know that, but that wasn't what I was. Actually, Didn't they make a sequel to it too? I, was... I feel like they made a sequel. They probably did. That's that's something they, they PETA they'd would fucking do, do it again. I, I, I expect despite the fact it. the game that they were parodying is literally just straight up has <laughs> PETA in the game. <laughs> Or not straight up, but you know, like has a freaking organization with the same fucking men- mentality. Or, well, not actual mentality, because yes. it was actually just a cover, but you know what I mean. A really interesting cover that kind of got blown off real fast. Anyway, also, uh, wait, so what was the uh, original Pokemon question? Black or Pokemon White. The dumbingness. No, 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 no. They're not the same game. I mean, they are, but they aren't. Because. Don't forget, there's two unique areas. Yeah, well, I, mem- I know that. White Forest yeah. and Black Ta- Black City. Yeah, and and uh, Opa Lucid City has a different layout depending on which version you play. Yeah, that I did not um, know. Pokemon Black has a futuristic um, Opa Lucid City, and then Pokemon White has a um, a more um, what's the word I'm looking for? Not past, but um. Rustic, thank you. Rustic? Yeah, more rustic look. Like, here, I'm going to show you what it looks like in Pokemon White, because I know you only play black. Yes, because I am racist. Here, here's what it looks like in, um... Somebody actually made a direct um, image that shows the differences between the two. I swear if this image is, like, 360 by 480, I'm going to quit. Oh. Yeah, see? Oh, uh, yes, that makes sense. You know what's funny? I feel like White's version of Opalid City is canon. I don't know why. It just I looks think like it is. One. I think the anime, they do show like... the, um, that version. The Pokemon White version. I, I swear oh. to God, I think they did. Give me a minute. I'm going to Google it real quick. I'm almost certain that in the anime, they do show the other version as being canon. Hmm. Huh. Yeah, no, they I actually guess. do. Hold on, yeah, no, the white version oh, is canon, according to um, according to the anime. See? Well, that's in the anime. Well, that's the anime. The anime. I mean, technically, that anime. makes it canon, anime. no? In the anime, it doesn't mean it's canon in the games, because remember, like you said, there's two different versions of the same game. No, so... hold on, hold on. No, wait a minute, it hold has on. To be white. White has to be the canon one because in white isn't. No, hold on. Oh, no, give me a minute. I need to figure this out because there was in the trailer for Pokemon. Yeah, check. <laughs> or no, 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 Pokemon. What was that series that they made where they showed different Pokemon games or po- generations of Pokemon? What's the name of that series? I oh wait, I Pokemon think it was, generations. Yeah. There's one because it shows the fight scene from um. Black and white too, where the gym leaders show up. It this one will show which version yeah. is canon. It'll show because either Drayden will show up or Iris will show up. Because uh, I remember there was a scene in that one that shows it. Wait, this is to determine which city yeah, is canon. Yeah, because it, not... hold on, let me explain. In white, Drayden's the gym leader, and black, Iris is the gym leader. The gym leader is dependent on the uh, version you play. Well, that, that doesn't it, seem right at all. There's no way that's true. I would remember. Oh, you want to bet? You want to actually bet? Iris. I'm not betting, but I would remember that because I remember my first playthrough of Pokemon Black and White, specifically Pokemon yeah. Black, and I remember not facing Iris yes. at all. But if that's true, then I'm just I just got bad memory. No, hold on, hold on. No, that's just white. You can't see it that the W that well, but in white version it's Iris, in the black version it's um, it's Drayden. So you All were wrong, wrong actually. Versa, you sorry. have them reversed. That I, I got it backwards, but you know what I mean. I do not know what you mean, but yeah, I told you. I remember that I didn't fight Iris in Pokemon Black. I remember fighting Drayden. So. If anything, if I took that bet, you would have lost simply because you had them mixed up. But I didn't. 
But it doesn't really matter. Again, we're trying to discuss this. We're not trying to compete. Oh, I can do you one better. And one of the episodes that actually shows off of Pellucid City. Never mind. It's the old version. <clears throat> uh, white versions is canon. Hmm. I think. Uh, I can't even figure this shit out. I don't know. So wait, does that mean Pokemon Black technically takes place in a alternate, in a almost parallel alternate universe? Yes. That's fucked up. That is. I mean, it's the only game that up. does that. Don't forget. I know. But I mean, still, Red is canon, not Blue, because the version you play is dependent on what the name of the trainer, uh, default name of the trainer is. So therefore, Red is canon. Same with gold and silver, yeah, really. So true. gold's canon. I think. Then that means Ruby and Sapphire. Well, no, that's different because they actually use real names after that. So. <laughs> actually, no, Emerald would be canon for that one. Because, no, let me explain. <sighs> let me explain. Oh, my God. Because... In, um, don't forget, in Ultra Sun and Moon, it shows both Maxi and Archie teaming up. Therefore, Emerald is canon. Would have to be canon. I was just about to say, the reason why Emerald is canon is because Rayquaza. Maybe that too, I guess. Okay. You got me there. Um, <laughs> I, was, I, was all, I was just going to say I that mean, and that nothing works else. Too. <laughs> But then I have to then I have to give you a counter the Delta episode of Mega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which was a remake. I don't know, whatever. And then Diamond and Pearl. And Zinnia didn't exist in Emerald, Diamond so Emerald uh, count. there's um, no counter to that. I'm pretty sure Y is canon because the beam is supposed to kill everybody, so I would assume the Death Pokemon would be the one to do it, not the Life Pokemon. So Pokemon Y has to be canon. Thematically, Trainer Y and Trainer X. Imagine if they imagine if that's what their names actually were. And then um, <laughs> they should have had their names start with X and Y. Would that not have made more sense? Uh, how many guy and girl names do you know start with X and Y? Uh, X for is Xavier. The uh, Y is uh. I have Yancey. There we go. Well, you're ready. You're ready. But there's already a yes. Yeah. There's yourself. a wait, wait. problem solved. We're good. Wait, wait, wait. There's a Yancey already in Pokemon. Do you want to know who that Yancey is? Who? In Pokemon Black 2, White 2, there is a mini, mini side quest featuring a uh, NPC that communicates to you on the X transceiver. After a certain amount of times of going to certain locations, they eventually reveal themselves. If you're playing as the male character, the NPC that reveals themselves to you is is named Yancey. But don't forget, Pokemon Black 2 is non-canon. So technically speaking, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, it's the same in White 2. God damn it. Ha ha ha, I get fucked. God fucking damn it. I can I actually pull up an image of what this character looks like? You just had to do you just had to do me like that, didn't you? I didn't you do did that. You really like had that. to do me that, that, that was Game Freak. Game Freak Game Freak did that to you. Game Freak did so that to, to you. For anyway. Eve, by the way. Or not cook, but prepare. Cook them cook Anyway, this is what Yancey looks like. Also, I could give her, her give you her overworld sprite. Because eventually you do actually get to see her in game. Eventually. Unfortunately, I never got to see her. I never got to see her because I never actually completed that side quest. Because apparently it, requ it requires a long, like a really... Let me see. How many contacts? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Holy shit. 15 contacts. What does that mean? 
Basically, you will you Yancy will automatically call a player on one of the fifteen different spots that can only be triggered once. You have to go to all these spots to be able to uh, see Dear her physically. God. What do you even get for doing that? So, when you finally get to meet her, she will trade the player a different Pokemon each day in the following order. A Meowth, Wobbuffet, Ralt, Shieldon, Rhyhorn, West Sea Shellos, Mawile, Spirit Tomb, Snorlax, Teddy Ursa, Spinda, Togepi, and then it repeats. And you can give her any Pokemon. Time to give them seven level two Lily Pups. <laughs> Oh, that would be That's funny though. Nice. <laughs> I I feel like everybody oh, oh, can do oh. that. Let's be real for a minute. Hold on, hold on. Look at this trivia. Starting with the thirteenth uh, thir thir thirteenth call, Yancey's sprite will begin to blush when talking on the X transceiver, implying she has developed feelings for the male player. So technically, it's canon that she has a crush on us. <laughs> what? Okay. Anyway, we gotta start wrapping this up. People gotta, people got things to do. Well, if they have things to do, they can do it in the background. This is a podcast, not a fucking gaming video. If you enjoyed this gameplay, you see, I'm if kidding. this podcast made your dick hard, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe on this video. Whoa! Not one for the ladies. If this one made your your nipples um, hard, yeah. Well, that that is not equal an opposite version of the dick it getting works. hard. It works. Hold on, hold on. If this podcast made your vagina release what? waterfalls, what? okay, this is getting really <laughs> fucked up. Alright, look, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe or something. I don't know. This YouTube thing is stupid. Blah.